Yo guys, how's it going? It's JT Judgment here and welcome back to the channel as always for some more WWE Supercard. Thanks again guys for stopping by for a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing fantastic wherever you happen to be watching this video and what we're going to be doing today guys we're going to be jumping into Ring Domination to finish off John Morrison. The card that is making his debut you know, the superstar, I should say, that's making his debut in Supercard for the first time in six seasons. We're going to be jumping in. I will admit, guys, I did have a bunch of things planned for this video, but, um, you know, th things haven't exactly gone to plan over the past couple of days, and I've had to shift my plans around a little bit for this video. But one thing that has really taken my focus, guys, over the past couple of days is probably... The most surprising thing personally for me because it's one of the things that I like the least when it comes to this game and that is money in the bank. Now I will admit I've been playing a lot of money in the bank over the past couple of days and you guys can probably guess. I mean if you, you know, I'm wearing the shirt, I've got the merch, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin and I've always said guys... I really wish Supercard did something to make me play Money in the Bank. And now that they actually have done something to give me a reason to play this mode, I'm not going to lie. What it's done is it's, it's kind of made me hate the mode even more. <laughs> it really has. Because I've had to grind so much over the past couple of days. You know, I've had to really focus on get. I will get this card absolutely... 100% just simply due to the fact that it, it, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, I need to collect all the cards that I can whenever he gets cards in the game. It's the same as Eddie Guerrero, guys. I've still got Austin and Eddie cards back from Season 2, 3, 4, and 5. Whenever I get them, I never delete them. So this is a card that I'm definitely going to go for. The problem is, guys, it's just so much of a grind. So much of a grind. 25,500 contracts for a single man i can remember back during the days i do realize money in the bank has changed over the years but i can remember when money in the bank gave out singles that cost le less than ten thousand credits guys the best tier available cost less than ten thousand contracts for a single man those were the days but now here we are fast forward a few years and it costs fifty thousand credits or contracts for a pro which is unbelievable and to be perfectly honest i don't think it's worth it you know 50,000 contracts only gets you two cards you can't fortify money in the bank cards which uh you know since the introduction of fortifying cards was a thing at the start of season six i'm surprised they haven't done anything with that for the money in the bank cards but that's just how it's gone and like i said that's that's the only reason i'm playing this is uh, simply due to the fact that it is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, when I started this, I think there was about 41 days, and I was on about 15,000 contracts, so I am slowly making my way there. But, man, you have to place so much money in the bank to be able to get yourself the pro versions of these cards. If they did something to make money in the bank more enjoyable to play, or just make the grind a lot easier... I'd really, really, really appreciate it. Maybe if they put some sort of multiplier system into the game mode, similar to uh, Team Battleground, where you can spend 100, 200, 500 credits to increase the drop rate of charges. Maybe if you spent 100, 200, 500 con uh, credits to, you know, double, triple the amount of contracts you get per game. You know, do something along those lines to make people actually want to play Money in the Bank. Because I don't know about you guys, I never, literally, even when Stone Cold Steve Austin is on offer, I never want to play Money in the Bank. And even when I'm playing, I'm, I'm just bored out of my skull, guys. You know, just bored out of my skull. I'm really hoping they do something to change Money in the Bank to make me want to play because weirdly enough it is it is a game mode that i want myself to want to play if that makes sense to give me something else to do with the game but the the the, the way the the the, the it's set up at the moment it's just it's just doesn't appeal to me whatsoever like i said literally the only thing that's making me play money in the bank right now is stone cold steve austin but let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below i have seen a couple of opinions here and there on twitter but use the comment section, guys. Let me know your thoughts 
All right, guys, so just a quick little segue here just so that I can jump in and claim my Wild Wednesday rewards. I wanted to record this part to include it in a video because Wild Wednesday, guys, I got to be honest, since the start of season six has been generally generous to me. I can remember a couple of weeks back, I had three weeks in a row where I managed to get a Vanguard from each of the Wild Wednesday quests, and one of those actually contained two Vanguards. So... You know, I mean, I could be just be getting stupid luck ever since the start of Season 6. I know that could be a possibility, but Season 6 Wild Wednesday quests have given out more than they ever have for me ever since Wild Wednesday has been a thing within the game, you know? So hopefully, I'm, you know, hopefully it's not just a Vanguard tier thing where my luck has been insane. Hopefully, you know, the, the, the luck can carry on through Royal Rumble tier, you know? So let's go ahead and start claiming all of these. I can't claim my tickets, guys, because I do already have like 500 and, or you can, you guys might be able to see it on the top of the screen. I got 574. I am saving up for a massive pack opening at some point, whether or not that be at the start of the new season or whether or not something happens before then that makes me want to spend my, uh, my, my tickets and PVP points, but I'm still saving them up. We'll have to wait and see what happens, guys. So unfortunately that is five grand or is it four four grand challenge tickets there that i'm not going to be able to claim but let's be honest guys it's not really that much i'm missing out on you know especially when i've already got this amount saved up if i can get a two stat rumble manager here that'd be insane oh, i get a two stat <laughs> that's not too bad i get a two stat uh, vanguard manager however i do already have two two stat managers that cover four stats so i'm not really too bothered with that so let's see guys does wild wednesday the luck anyway carry on into rumble tier for me give me at least one rumble if i'm destined to get vanguards then make them top tier that are pros or fortified level one at least let's see what we got guys three two one be good to me really that's trash that is absolute trash i get myself a pro alistair black which is a new pro for me i get, you know if that wasn't a pro then that would have been terrible i would have loved an eddie guerrero to give myself a fortified level one but man all that gives me is a new star for the catalog so i guess it wasn't a complete and utter waste of time guys so let me know who you guys got in your wild wednesday quest rewards in the comment section down below I have absolutely no idea what sort of video this is going in, guys, but whatever it is, let's get back to it. Down below. Now, what we're going to do is jump into the fusion chamber where I'm going to jump in. Oh, oh, it's only a legacy. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, maybe a slight change up. Wow, I, I, I can't believe I did that. I genuinely thought that I had a Pillars of Love ready to claim. It's just a legacy one, so bear with me. <laughs> bear with me, guys, while I just get this out of the way. Uh, we get Braun Strowman, AJ Styles, and wow, Naomi, that's actually one of the only ones I needed for the image. That's actually turned out a hell of a lot better than I thought. So I'm just doing these legacy ones for uh, for the images right now. What's finished? Oh, it's a SummerSlam. I, I thought it was going to let me claim it twice then, but uh, yeah, I was just, I'm just doing the legacy ones uh, for the images right now, I did have this saved up, guys. But what I was doing, I was grinding, like I was saying just now, Money in the Bank last night. I had a film on, can't remember what I was watching. But I was just playing Money in the Bank. And then all of a sudden, I saw the exclamation mark up here. Completely forgot what it was. Went to the tab, and without thinking, I just claimed the, the, the reward. So, yeah, a, a, a bit of an idiot moment there, guys. I had the the quest completed and saved for about two days ready for the next video that i make and without realizing like an idiot i just i just claimed it but i managed to get myself one of the ones that i wanted which was peyton royce i think out of all of them aj styles is one of the vanguards that i want uh peyton royce was obviously the one that i got that was um, a great success if you guys want to see the image there it is looks absolutely stunning um there's very few valentine cards that i want from this set this year i'm going to keep doing these pillars of love fusions guys uh for as long as i can we've only got you know less than seven and a half days of these to go so i can get myself two maybe three how am i looking on the enhancement side of things because i have noticed 
that I've pulled a lot. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just grinding uh, ring domination. I'm pulling them along the way. Uh, grinding war as well. I'm pulling arrows off the board left, right, and center. Same as the bows, guys. So whenever a Pillars of Love fusion finishes, I can just instantly start up start up another one you know and I, I can just focus on throwing the bows in the legacy ones on the topic of fusions guys let me know in the comment section down below your experiences so far i'm still very curious to see what cat daddy have got planned for the second half of the month because i don't know if you guys have seen but on their twitter they have tweeted out saying that this valentine's promo is a month long event but when they added these fusions in they only last for two weeks. So what they got planned for the, the the second half of the month is is all up for speculation right now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on what you would either like to see or expect to see in the comment section down below. I would like to continuously be able to get these, uh, these Valentine's cards because I'd like to collect some images. Would be nice to see something new added for the second half of the month as well. We'll have to wait and see. So let's jump into... Uh, into ring domination guys as you can see i've only got one two i've only got four shards left of john morrison which is very nice got this planned ready so i could finish this off right now let me know how you guys are getting on with your ring domination quest in the comment section down below you can let me know how you guys are getting on with the actual quest as well um, just a bit of a disappointment that it didn't give out a Royal Rumble. That quest would have, you know, it would have made the quest so much more interesting rather than giving people a card lower than their top eight, even though the, the rewards themselves are based on your top eight. Still only gave you a card below. But like I said, I got one of the ones that I wanted. So uh, that was a very, very nice outcome. So I've got nine. So it'd be very nice if the game didn't screw me over here and I can actually get the card done. So we get a pick doubler. Uh, we get another pick doubler. Uh, we get one reset. So I'm going to have to make sure to remember to put that. We get two resets to put those on my counter. And there he is, guys. John Morrison's debut in WWE Supercard. And i got to say, I really do like this card design. We did see it, guys. Like, I think it was about a, a week, maybe two weeks before the tier dropped in the game. So, we, I think most of us, for those of us that have Twitter anyway, knew of this card design. But to see it in-game now, guys, it just looks awesome. So, Heroic Mode has been unlocked for myself. I do not personally know uh, any of the undercards for the, the Heroic side, other than the uh, Royal Rumble is Rey Mysterio. That's all I know, guys. And in terms of my Royal Rumble cards, that does not uh, make a pro, unfortunately, guys. This is the current collection that I do have. Let's lock in that John Morrison. I'd love to be able to swap some images, but seeing as it is his very first card in the game, nothing much I can do there, guys. So this is what I've currently got. So let me know, like I said, how you guys are getting on in the comment section down below. I did have a TBG pack planned for this video. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, things didn't go as planned and we ended up losing our, uh, you know, previous TBG because, what can I say, my, my, my team sucks and we, we, we failed. What can I say? <laughs> no, I'm just joking, guys. We, you know, it, it ended up being a very, very close game. We only lost by like about 100 points. So kudos to the, the previous team. So other than that, guys, I don't think there's anything else that I have for this video. I'm going to go ahead and claim this free pack right now guys because well this is this is my video and i can do whatever the hell i want but uh <laughs> yeah let's uh get ourselves a goliath randy orton oh and we've obviously got the two ways to win uh implemented into the store which for whatever reason the images are not loaded for me or they are it's just blue stacks blue stacks is slow but two ways to win is back guys and it's another two ways to win for me personally guys that i'm gonna skip because it's <laughs> Even though I like the idea of two ways to win, guys, it's the, the way they've done it is it's just stupidly expensive. If you go to some of the YouTube channels out there, I think Ed and JB did a like a little competition back and forth to see who got the card first, and I think they spent like twenty to twenty five thousand credits for one, not for the pro, for one. It's just it's just a mind-bogglingly disgusting amount of credits to be able to 
get, yourself, get yourself a single. And what's worse, guys, is that you have the ability to claim three. So if you want yourself a fortified level one Shawn Michaels, you're going to have to spend, what, 60-odd thousand credits? Call me crazy, guys. But no, <laughs> I, I, I'm not interested in that whatsoever, guys. Even if it was uh, a special Steve Austin or a special Eddie Guerrero card, No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. That just doesn't interest me. If it was like maybe a hundred credits per pack or per whatever it is, instead of 500, then I'd at least think about doing it. But 500 per time, it's just, it's just not for me, guys. It's just not for me. If it is for you, then I wish you the best of luck. And I hope that you get the card spending the least amount of credits it can possibly take but that's going to wrap it up for me today guys if you did enjoy let me know in the comment section down below by how you guys are getting on and by hitting the like button don't forget as well subscribe today if you enjoyed and you want to see more but most importantly guys please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys